treasure finders. I'm on my last day of metal detecting in Virginia. Actually, it's only my third day, but it's my last day. I am headed to Florida on Sunday, and I can't wait to get down to Florida because there's going to be so much beach to discover down there. I'm at Yorktown Beach today. I'm going to get the metal detector out and see what I can find. I'm here really early this morning. It's about just a little after seven, and I'm excited to do some more beach combing. I did a little bit in the campground and the, the ground is so hard. It's really hard to dig and I think the beach will just be a lot more fun to attempt to find things. So we'll see what happens and I'll pop in in a little bit. Just dug this huge hole. I was a little bit disappointed in the metal detecting opportunities that I had in Virginia. It turns out that Virginia is one of the most restrictive states when it comes to metal detecting because of all the American history there. So hopefully things will be a little bit better as I move farther south. I'm just not at the point yet where I feel comfortable cold calling and asking people if I can hunt on their private property. So I have to stick with what each state allows. I want to show you really quick what I found today. I've been out here for about two hours and the biggest finds were all of these tent stakes. Holy cow. And you know, your random junk that's normal. I did find an earring today. It's not of any value. And a couple little plastic things. And a rusted bobby pin and just some more junk. So it was a great two hours. Nothing to put in the piggy bank but getting lots of experience and having tons of fun. I'm getting ready to head out with my metal detector. I'm just going in my campground today. There's been a big festival here and a bunch of people around. So I don't know, you never know what I might find. I had this signal come in at 75. I'm gonna dig right here. Could be a dime, it could be junk, but let's see. This is kind of interesting. I'm eh? definitely scraping on something metal down here. Can you hear that? Probably nothing exciting, but I think I found, let's check the pinpointer. Yep. This took a fair amount of excavation here and there isn't like a metal, there's something really hard down in here. What my detector was picking up is this penny right here. <laughs> This spot down here is registering at a 30, and on my list, that could be a nickel. So let's see. There's the treasure, a little bit of can slaw coming in at 30. So I'm in the park at my campground, and I did find a couple of pennies. I have to get them cleaned up to kind of see the year. But I just pulled up this coin in this hole here. I have no idea what it is but I'll clean it up and I'll show you at the end. So I stayed in the same area where I just found that other coin. And check this out, guys. This is a double, it's a double double. There's one. Oh, I thought there were two there. I guess it was just the mud, but I don't know what these are. I'm gonna find out. I'm wrapping up my last day's 
metal detecting in Virginia at our campground and this is kind of funny I thought this was really funny so I found these two pennies in the park by the beach this one was actually buried in this in the um, park and then this one I found in the water so this guy's been in there for a while and I can't even read the date on it it's so crusty this one I can't read either I don't know if it must have been in the ground for a long time because it's real really worn but I was super excited about these two I found them in different places I was like oh my gosh I finally found a good coin and of course the first big coin that I get I don't know if you can see this no cash value <laughs> Even believe it I think they must be laundry tokens or for the game room or something but they came up really strong on the detector and it was still fun digging them up but of course my luck my first two big coins are worth nothing well that wraps it up for metal detecting in Virginia hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time in Florida can't wait